Now, President Trump is pushing for a wall on the southern border. Now, he has shut down the government uh, over some of that funding. Uh, he's asking for about $5 billion, and he is trying to justify that $5 billion, which would not actually build a very large section of the wall. That's only part of the funding that he would actually need for the entirety of the wall. It's estimated to cost anywhere between 20 to $70 billion. Uh, and that's not, of course, including any additional security, which would be people patrolling, uh, surveillance, and all that stuff, right? Nonetheless, he shut down the government for that, and he tries to justify it by saying, well, don't worry, guys, walls work. And in fact, here's his newest excuse as to why he believes a wall would work. Let's take a look. You know, they say it's a medieval solution, a wall. That's true. It's medieval because it worked then, and it works even better now. Israel put up a wall, 99.9% .9 successful, according to Bibi Netanyahu. Oh, the walls. They work. They work back in the medieval times, and they'll work even better now. You know who told me? Bibi Netanyahu. Really? Oh, okay. <laughs> First of all, no. Oh, but you don't understand. It worked back then. You mean back when there were swords and arrows, and that was the main weapons of our military forces? Of military forces of, of that time? But wait a minute. Even if you're arguing that, it, it, that didn't even actually work. Because guess what? You also, at that time, had catapults, trebuchets, and other siege weapons. Ballista. Oh, and ladders. They also had ladders, by the way. I'm, I, you know what they didn't have back then what, that we do now, though? We have planes. We have airplanes. You know how many undocumented immigrants uh, arrive here, right? via airplane, 58%. And actually, when they come here, they're not undocumented, but they overstay their visas and then become undocumented. 58% of all the undocumented immigrants in America came through legally via plane and then just overstayed their visas. What well, ain't going to stop that? As I saw a tweet on this, this earlier, maybe we don't need a wall. We need a roof to stop all the planes. In reality, of course, it, it doesn't work. Now, I always make the joke that Republicans want to bring us back to the 1800s. Donald Trump wants to bring us back to the 800s. That dude's walls. They worked so well in the past. That now, they're going to work even better now. With all that advanced technology. Great. Now, okay, let's take a modern example, right? Because again, it's not fair to look back at the past necessarily and gauge the effectiveness of a wall. We have more recent examples. We have the Berlin Wall. Well, how'd that turn out, right? I mean, look, we had a, uh, it, it, the Berlin Wall was a highly militarized border wall. It was made of solid concrete, right? It was patrolled by people with automatic weapons. These people are authorized to shoot to kill, uh, and, and again, it was very heavily patrolled. So that's, the, I'm assuming that that's the kind of wall that Republicans are, are, want, right? Which is ironic, by the way, because their hero, Ronald Reagan, was like, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down that wall. Well, Ronald Reagan, your hero, didn't believe in walls. But now apparently you do on the southern border. I find that very strange. A uh, little bit of irony here on that one. But anyway, how did that work? Not very well. Not very well. When it was standing, thousands of people still were able to cross into West Germany. From East Germany into freedom. So again, walls didn't actually work. I, I got to ask you, is it painful being that stupid? I mean, it's got to be. It's got to be really dumb. Like, it's got to be really painful being that dumb. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Border walls don't work. This isn't the 1300s. We have no border crisis. Yet, nonetheless, Donald Trump added, quote, We're having some very good times in our country. Oh, really? We're, we're in the middle of a government shutdown. The stock market is tanking. Um, people are being laid off. I got a story on that later. Uh, 10,000 people from AT&T. 
Uh, that's after your gigantic tax cuts, the deficit is up massively, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, but we're having a great time here in this country. But he says, we're doing very well, except for the border. The border is a big problem. It is a dangerous problem. No, man, you're a very dangerous problem. Right now, again, the government shutdown that you created over this ridiculous wall is actually slated to cost more than $5 billion, depending on how long this goes. And it could go for quite some time, as Trump was saying. But not only that, but we, had gov we have government workers in important positions that are not getting paid right now. And some of them, look, some of them that are considered essential, right? Well, they still have to show up. But a lot of them are not showing up. They're deciding, look, I'm not getting paid for my work. I still got to feed my kids. I still got to pay my bills. I can't just go and do odd jobs around, you know, around for my landlord. I got shit to pay. So I'm not going to, so well, I'm going to go get another job. I'm going to work that because I'm not coming into work. This is happening with TSA agents, right? Not only that, you have people in air traffic safety that are not there, P plane inspections. These planes are not getting inspected right now. So think about the next time you want to take a flight, right? Not only that, but again, look, we have all sorts of things that are happening right now due to the government shutdown uh, that is basically disastrous. Now, and it's all because of Trump's stupid wall. It, it turns out that this whole thing is actually making us less safe. His demands for the wall are making America's ports of entry less safe, which would be airports, right? Not only that, but you have people that could lose their, their homes, right? Because they live in government subsidized housing. You have people who are on food stamps that are going to eventually see those benefits run out if the government is not reopened. You have the stock market that's doing terribly. And it's all because, what, Ann Coulter and Rush Limbaugh decided to criticize you when there was an actual deal to keep the government running that would have given some money to border security. But no, no, I got to have my stupid wall and I can't, I can't stand when Ann Coulter calls me weak. Ann Coulter, Ann Coulter. Who cares about what Ann Coulter thinks? Seriously. She's a monstrous person. And so that whole thing, by the way, is pathetic. So, but of course, now Trump, he's trying to save face because he can't, he knows that he's screwed. He's like, I don't know, man. I, I got I to gotta come up with some sort of reason, some sort of way to get out of this without losing face, right? Without hurting my fragile little ego. So now he's coming up with, oh, it's a national uh, emergency. National emergency at the border. No, you know what's a national, national emergency? Climate change. How about we fight that? Can't build a wall against that, though. No. No, we got to come up with a national emergency. Okay, well, what's the national emergency at the border? Is the fact that people are dying in ICE custody? Border Patrol custody? Nope. That's not a national emergency. What are you talking about? No. That national emergency doesn't actually exist. No matter how much Sarah Huckabee Sanders and Kirsten Nielsen lie about it, there is no national emergency. There is the, the facts are just not there. Oh, there's terrorists coming in the border. 3,000 to 4,000 terrorists. No, there's not. Customs and Border Patrol said they found possibly six. And that doesn't necessarily mean that they're terrorists themselves. And then there are the special interest aliens. Which again, those are just people from countries that have produced terrorists. That doesn't mean they are terrorists. <laughs> I mean, again, there's no facts there. There is no, there is no emergency. And now, of course, he compares this to Israel, which again, they've got a wall, yes, but they've got lots of problems on that wall. A lot of them, their own making. And let's be honest about that, right? But you have this nonsense about medieval solutions and how it works, but it's, it's not true. But again, he's talking to people who unfortunately have a medieval mindset. So 
they're always going to believe him. They're never, they're never actually going to see the truth. They're never actually going to be able to understand the facts because they are driven, unfortunately, by fear and hatred. And so that's what it is. Only ignorant, frightened people want this wall. The majority of America is not that. The majority of America does not want this wall. The majority of America blames President Trump for the shutdown and they want it to end. So Trump needs to do the right thing and say, okay, I'm going to drop funding for the wall. Let's get the government back up and running and actually do something real about immigration instead of solutions, so-called solutions that will never work. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYT Nation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.